tarot friends, this is Ultra Violet Morgan with day 5 of 31 Days of Tarot 2019 Tarot Prompts. The card that stopped you in 2018. And just quickly before I get into that, um, day 4 Tarot Books 2018. I knew I had a book missing and lo and behold, around the tarot in 98 days, a personal Journey Through the Cards by Marcus Katz and Tally Goodwin. Uh, this one was separate from my other books. And... Ooh. I have used some of this. I'm just starting to kind of get into the um, Tree of Life and the Kabbalah um, associations of the card today. I really couldn't, I was kind of interested, I've been interested in the Kabbalah, but a little bit remotely, I guess, not feeling like it's something I need to get into right away, but something I could be interested in. Learning the tarot language. Your tarot guidebook, time, space, values, tarot culture, history. Keyword kaleidoscope. So there's some things in here. The compass spread. I should look into the spreads a little bit. The compass spread two. One, two. Mostly just use the individual cards for specific ones that I've been studying. I started to go through this day by day using uh, one of my decks. I'm not even sure which one, but it just didn't last very long. But I do find this book to be quite valuable. Here we've got a quick connection affirmation and meditation. Page of Pentacles, Humble Beginnings, Delivery of Good Fortune, With Every Breath I Am Growing More Into The Self I Am To Be, How Does The Oak Know The Seasons Ahead In Order To Grow So Strong? So, so far with the pages in this book, um, and I know I said I was going to be quick and then now I'm kind of going into it, but with the pages, um... Calling of the coins, they name the page, and then each page they kind of have. Um, it's interesting where you might meet Colin, a building site, accountant, football, or baseball league. What people say about Colin, he's very down to earth and calls a spade a spade. And then it, the way that it helps you connect with the um, card is connected to the personality of the card. So, down to earth. It's basically, you know, this is a way to look at the card as it is what it is. Describe what you see kind of thing. I like the you know, the card in your life reading. So, how, what it can mean in different... Um, situations, health, relationship, travel, lifestyle. And then I find this to be very interesting. Ways you could be blocking this card today, such as by not paying your bills, not making your fixed appointments, not planning the week ahead, not being fully prepared, how to connect with your card, what the page says about himself, and then some keywords. And then the page of swords... He's a little different. They call him Sam. 
he's pretty sharp. <laughs> so Sam is interested in the correspondences. So here we start to talk about the correspondences a little bit more in depth as a card. And then you got the same sections. On the page of cups, he of course or she, Charlotte of the Cups, is about feelings and intuition. So now we're going to talk about how to use your intuition to feel out a card. So, each card you're kind of learning a different way to think about the cards according to the card, which I find is really pretty amazing. Page of Wands, um, bright, vibrant, flashy. Wands is a born teacher, a communicator, and traveler. Okay. Where you might meet Wanda, teaching, leading, in the boardroom, in charge, anywhere. What people say about Wanda? Bossy, no nonsense, she's one tough cookie. So, um, actually I got a handful of cards that I'm still studying or meaning to study more in depth. Okay, so that's six minutes on yesterday's topic. So uh, I would probably recommend this book. This I feel like it's a good book, personally. It's a good book. I like it. So now, the topic, the real actual topic... This is my rose quartz. Is the card that stalked you in 2018. So the card that stalked me in 2018 that I just saw everywhere, everywhere, everywhere was the two of coins. And I know exactly why, because last year was all about trying to find my balance, trying to manage many things that I felt that I couldn't manage all at once. Uh, but eventually, eventually I did. <laughs> I had to, and I figured it out. But it was a process, and um, the two of coins turned up a lot uh, for me. And I think that the two of coins is probably going to keep right on turning up this year a significant amount. This is from my Hanson Roberts deck. One of my main decks, very friendly and approachable, in my opinion. At first I thought it maybe was too cartoony, too kiddish, but it does have, it does remind me of storybook, of hobbits, because some of the faces are a little hobbitish, I guess. Um... No, oh, we connected pretty well. This is a friendly, casual, very not uptight deck. We we play. We can do some silly things, this deck and I, to get to know each other. <laughs> um, the back of the cards, I feel, are, are lovely. I know this isn't a deck review, but what the heck. And... My negative is these are quite, quite, quite thin. And I, it, yeah, and I mean, they've got bends already. This is just, I like these cards and I really wish they were better quality. And if I can find a better quality, I, I might have to uh, get myself a second deck. So, here's another Two of Pentacles. So 
This one's got the rainbow. The ship in the background. The dolphin. This one also has the ship in the background. This is the gilded, I believe it's called the gilded tarot, which comes in the um, easy tarot kit. It was one of my first decks, and it's by, oh, the artist has a Italian sounding name, and he also does another deck. That's very popular right now. I can picture it, but I cannot think of the name. Tarot of the Divine, or something like that. This is a really quite beautiful deck. And there is the Two of Pentacles in My Wild Unknown. And these, th this is just lovely. This is very beautiful representation of balance. And those are the three decks that I used last year. So those are the decks that I mainly would have come up against the the Two of Pentacles, or where I would have seen the Two of Pentacles. And I've gotten a couple of new decks this year. And so, I figured, let's take a look at those as well. Here's the Two of Stones from the Chrysalis Tarot. This one... Doesn't have, really doesn't have, that's the back of those cards. They're gorgeous. Card stock is nice. Oh, I wish that my Hanson Roberts card stock was like this. It'd be wonderful. Um, I don't get the same sense of balance there. I'm going to actually, real quick, wish I would have planned this out better. Head on over to looking at nothing, or looking at random other cards that I've got out. I'm going to check the guidebook, Two of Stones. Two of Stones. The key word for this Two of Stones is trust. The king of the forest reminds you to maintain your balance and trust your next step. Sheaths of windswept ice in the scene give way to rippling clear waters as winter gives way to springtime. This card is about trusting and cooperating with emerging energies. When the season cha changes, the bear emerges from hibernation and the once frozen lake bubbles anew with life. And you're reading this card tells you to balance contrasting energies and to remain firmly grounded, sure-footed, and secure like the mighty bear. And I actually did have my other books out, but this video is already getting long enough. And I don't want to crawl around with a phone in my hand. That one is a little more esoteric, so it was really worth it to look at the book for that one. <clears throat> so here is the... Dorian Virtue Tarot of Angel, the Angel Tarot, Two of Earth, Too Much Going On at Once, The Need to Make a Decision, Consider a More Playful Approach. The Playful Approach is a kind of an interesting take. I did a couple of times remember last year getting... Um, these are just some <laughs> decks that I want to get from my wants list. Uh, 
getting cards that were telling me, be playful, have fun, dance, sing, move, la la la. I didn't really listen. I wasn't in the mood. <laughs> I was in a pretty serious mood and, you know, I probably did need to shake myself out of it, but I really wasn't willing to hear it just yet. This is really hard to make out. Okay, I can see it now. I was having a hard time seeing her face. So the two of Earth. And then we've got... Uh, okay. I guess that was all. The other card I saw a lot of, quite a lot of, last year was the Hermit card. So I guess I thought I'd show a few Hermit cards. The Hermit... With his trusty lamp lighting the way. I spent a lot of, it was a very alone year for sure. Trying to balance a lot of things, um, trying to do everything by myself, um, losing a lot of the connections that I had previously had. It was a rough year, I guess. So here's the hermit from the the gilded tarot. And let it focus for a minute. And here I like this one because it shows this narrow raised up path that he's on. And the background is just lovely. I've already shown the backs of these. Do the same, same decks. Well, the known hermit, the turtle. He's got his lamp on his back. Whenever I see a turtle like that, it just makes me think of uh, the never-ending story where he goes to seek the. I can't remember her name, but she says, We don't even care whether or not we care. A very favorite line of mine. Here's another hermit. The Archangel Raziel. Spend time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching, self-discovery. Last year was such a hermit year. Definitely such a hermit year. And then the Chrysalis Tarot has a completely different take. The Storyteller. Which I think this card is just really beautiful. Really, really beautiful. I love the, the light coming out of her hands. She's got birds in her hair. It's wonderful. There's so many beautiful details. The wings, the branches, the beautiful designs down here. Again, more bird. Trees. This hermit is... Well, this is the storyteller, so... Well, yeah. Pretty much, I guess, I have pretty much gone over. Uh, today, when I did my reading today, I had all of my twos, my balance, laid out. Um, for filming, when I would, whenever I would get the chance... And then I did my reading, you see here, and um, today I got the card Balance. Now this is not the Two of Wands, this is the Temperance card. And it says, the need for balance and moderation 
cooperation and compromise, waiting for perfect timing. So, even though that's not the two of pentacles, you obviously see the two of pentacles or the balance type of energy still working its way in my life. Uh, I still suppose I haven't learned the lesson of the two or learned I haven't quite gotten my grip on it I suppose so for this video that's pretty much all for now this is Ultraviolet Morgan um, saying goodbye for now, tarot friends. Blessed be.